Hi, this is Dan. Welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to show you how you can take a used wooden cigar box that you might find at a cigar shop or that you can buy off of eBay or sometimes find on Craigslist and turn it into a pen storage box for your turned pens or your pen collection just like this. So one of the first things we have to do is make sure that we pick out a box that will work well for a pen box. And you want to try to find one that's in good condition. Some, most have some kind of flaws to them, nicks or scratches or that kind of thing. This one is pretty good shape. And the other thing is you want to find one that's an appropriate size for a pen box. And really what I'm looking for for the kind of pens that I make is at least six inches one direction or the other. And this one is better than six each way, uh, so that's good. And we'll also need to decide based on the size which orientation we want the pens to go in, whether they'll go uh, across here horizontally or up vertically. will depend on your preference and the size of your box. So the first major step is to find something to put inside of your box. This is just a piece of scrap wood from an old tabletop that I have. I've used MDF, I've used plywood, all kinds of different things. And so the next step is to make it fit in the box. And what I do for this is actually usually not to measure, but just to take the piece that I'm going to use and to mark off with a pencil where I want the cuts to be, to cut it to size. And then we'll take it over to the table saw and sometimes the radial arm saw as well to get it cut to the size to fit in the box. Now we're back from the saws and we want to make sure that our piece fits inside before we go ahead and cut the grooves. So I'm going to test that to fit. And it's a little bit tight but a nice snug fit. So then we're going to mark out how we want to have our slots oriented. So if we're doing a bunch of these at once like I often do, when we get over to the router table we'll know which way that we're cutting. So I'm just going to take a pencil and mark the lines that I want and the number of slots that I do will be dependent on the size and we'll see that over at the router table. We're over at the router table and I have a 5 8 inch round nose or core box bit that's mounted up in there and I usually check my depth it's totally up to you I don't like it to be actually real deep the grooves just enough for the pens to just kind of sit in nicely and you'll want to set your fence off of the end of the, the bit there, the end of the blade, just so as much as you want the sides uh, to be that's between the last groove and the end of the insert piece. And so uh, I usually just um, eyeball it. And then to be safe, don't get your hand anywhere near that bit. And so I always use a push paddle uh, from the joiner to do this particular operation. And then once you have your first slot done, simply flip the piece over so that you'll have the exact same spacing on the opposite side of the insert. And once you have your first set of slots cut, you want to just move your fence back as far as you want the spacing to be. You can either measure it and be incredibly precise, or you can just kind of eyeball where you want them to be, and that's usually what I do. We now have four slots cut, and we'll again move our fence back, and we'll do at least two more for the size of this particular insert. And again, I'm just kind of sizing it up based on the spacing that I like. And we'll go ahead and make two more cuts.
now we have here an insert with six slots in it and they're spaced pretty well I'd say just haven't been done by eye and uh, I give a quick sand to the top of this and now I'm going to take a piece of uh, 150 grit sandpaper just wrap it around my sharpie and get just in these grooves just to get any fuzzies off the edge before we go ahead with our last step and that's going to be to put on the felt. Now we're ready for the last major step, which is to get uh, felt on top of our insert. And there's two choices that you have with this, or at least two choices. You can either use a regular felt or a fabric really of any kind, or you can use a self-adhesive backed felt. Less colors, less options available, but uh, certainly an easy option just to peel and stick and then trim. Uh, but what we're gonna do today is to use a regular craft felt with a spray adhesive. And I'm going to use 3M Super 77 to, uh, to do this, and it's really easy to do. You simply have your two pieces here. We have the felt, and we have the insert. And we're going to give it a shake and hold it, I think about 8 inches away is the recommended, and just give it a light couple of passes. And we'll let that dry about 30 seconds until it's tacky. Okay, it's been sitting just a little bit and it's starting to get tacky. I definitely recommend, by the way, putting something down on your workbench because this stuff will, will stick to your bench. If not, I have a, an old piece of uh, paneling here that I'm using for this uh, particular purpose here today. And so you just want to start at one end here, not letting everything kind of go down and stick at once and to just kind of work it into the grooves to try to keep out any major wrinkles or that kind of thing. Sometimes I'll grab my Sharpie again just because it's something round to push into the slot. Come in. I found that it's not really a race on this to get it done really quickly so I'd recommend just taking your time. Press it down, make sure everything's right. And then let it sit for just a little bit and then we'll go ahead and trim up all the edges. Now it's been sitting for just a little while, it doesn't take long and I'm taking a regular pair of scissors and trimming the bulk of the waste off. You can also put this down and use a razor knife to cut off a lot of it too. But I'm using a couple pairs of scissors there, regular scissors and then some curved scissors that just prevent you from cutting into the piece you don't want to at all. Again, you can use whatever scissors or razor knife that you have available to go through and trim off the waste. If you cut your insert so there's a little bit of room in the box, you don't also have to have these trimmed quite as perfectly close. So I'm just finishing up the trimming. We have a nice insert, trimmed to size. We'll bring our box back and we'll slide the insert. right into place and there we go looking good in there and I'm gonna go ahead and take a few of my pens and just line them up in there so you can see how they sit these are all different sizes and styles that I just have handy here and you see how that works Makes a great uh, craft show display for your pens. I sell these boxes on my Etsy site for people to buy, and uh, or you can just keep them in your around for your pen collection.
So I hope, hopefully you got something out of this video. If you have a comment, a question, a suggestion, please leave me a comment below. And I'd appreciate if you could go ahead and like and subscribe. Thanks a lot and have a great day.